Hey, hi, how you doing? It's Jim. It's another day, another week, another video. Um, and today's video is uh, one of a brand new, no, a brand new series. It's, uh, today's video is talking about my recent record purchases. So what I have managed to get hold of in the month of August, which I am now going to call the August Record Hall. Catchy, isn't it? I think it's the same as what other people do, so there we go. Uh, it seemed to be quite uh, quite a popular video when I did this in July. People were interested to know what I'd got, what I'd been listening to, what I was hoping to listen to, what I was talking about I might be doing on the channel, so on and so forth. So as we go through these records, um, if there's anything that catches your eye that you want to know more about or hear about and we... Uh, you think will go down on the channel then so let me know and we'll, we'll probably do a spin in fact I know there's probably at least one or two on here that I'm going to do at some point anyway but um, uh, let's just get on with it shall we so these aren't in any particular order these are I've just been sort of pulling them off the shelf um, uh, so they started off being a bit alphabetical then I went back through a different uh, different way so a different way of I've recorded sort of um, getting them and I then bought more out and uh, so on and so forth so so this is kind of a little bit random um, but uh, let's start so the first record we have is yes and this is songs from songers I think you pronounce it it's a live live record which is a uh, the record version of a DVD that came out um, in 2004, I believe. It was the uh, 35th anniversary of uh, Yes's either formation or first album. But uh, so it's, uh, it's uh, almost the classic lineup. Um, so you've got Steve Howe, John Anderson, Chris Squire, and Rick Waitman there. But uh, you have Alan White on drums. So uh, that's uh, ever so slightly different from. Uh, what would have been absolutely the most perfect with Will Bruford on there, but you know, you can't have everything. So that's that's the first record I've got. This is well, record. This is four four discs in here. There's eight sides of uh, stuff to listen to. No, sorry, seven sides. The last side is etched. But uh, there's a lot there. I've not listened to this yet. Um it's quite a weighty tome. Uh, that's a good one. Second one, you might have seen this uh, on one of my videos uh, when I was doing my favourite top five records of the lifetime of the channel. I skimmed over this. So this is Marbles uh, from Marillion. I know this, uh, I know the music on here uh, quite well, but I've not listened to this on vinyl yet. And uh, I know, Passy, you're very, very keen to hear this. So I may well be doing a... Um, uh, video or sort of collection of videos listening to this because it is a truly truly great record this I love this absolutely love this it's um probably I think the first song that I listened to from Marillion um recently was uh Neverland which which comes off here and that was that's kind of what sort of uh, introduced me to the greatness of modern Marillion because I, up till then I only had known anything about Marillion uh, when Fish was in the band. There were two or three songs that I knew. Um, uh, Lavender, um, I can't remember something else, and Assassining. Um, so it's like really, 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 really long time ago and I kind of forgot all about Marillion until it came to be one of the things I had to do on the channel. I had to do. It was recommended to me and I did and I uh, kind of haven't looked back I've now sort of got quite a lot of Marillion so this is a this is a good one to probably do a video for now this is um Warren Zivon so this is an artist that I know only one song from which is uh, Werewolves of London I think probably everybody knows that song um but there's a um a, been a strong recommendation uh, to me uh from Richard on the channel uh, in the comments to listen to one or two songs from from this guy um, I don't know if I'll do a whole album but uh, we'll, we'll see how we get on um, but there's two in particular he's very in interested in the French Inhaler and Desperados Under the Eaves which are both on this record and this cropped up on eBay um, so I thought you know it's much nicer doing it as a vinyl thing rather than just a sort of a digital 
rip off YouTube. So, so I've got it. Um, I have, again, I haven't listened to this yet, so that will be an interesting one. Not quite sure what the genre is, but uh, we'll discover. Here comes another eBay. Judas Priest, unleashed in the East, isn't it? No, just live in the East. Yeah, no, unleashed in the East, it's called. So this is a, a live record um, from sort of quite early in the career. We've got a, a list of songs. We've got Exciter, Running Wild, Sinner, Ripper, uh, The Green Man Alishi, um, Diamonds and Rust, Victim of Changes, Genocide and Tyrant. So all really old tracks. Um, so that's, uh, that's a bit of a... Bit of a classic, really, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, that's that's in the collection now. Ha! This is one you, if you've been following the channel, watching the videos, you'll know. Uh, Mahavishnu Orchestra, uh, Birds of Fire. So I did the first side of this, and it was up for two or three days, and suddenly got blocked uh, for some weird YouTube reason or whatever. Um, anyway, I've managed to re-upload it, and I think the the solution to doing this is rather than try and do a side with four, five, six songs on it, uh, you kind of have to break it into two or three. I think uh, the publishers are far happier for a video to have maybe two or three songs in it rather than five. So that's what I did. So this has been re-uploaded. A really, really, really interesting record. Um, I'm very, very glad to have discovered this. Uh, and I think some of, some of you guys watching it have really enjoyed it as well. So that's been good. Um, yeah, uh, to uh, kind of a really one of a kind band. Um, it's it's in really interesting music. So I do have another one on its way, but it's not arrived yet. <coughs> Excuse moi. Right, here goes more eBay stuff. So this is a chap called Alfonso Johnson with his record called Spellbound. Um, is the guy standing on the front there with a the Chapman stick? Is a bass player. Uh, this is 70s, yeah, 1977. And he played bass in Weather Reports. Um, this is a great, great record. Uh, a few little cracks and pops in it here and there, and a couple of little scratches, which are very, very annoying, but I might be able to try and fix those. So if I can, I might uh, try and do one or two tracks from this onto the onto this channel. Um, if you don't know this, it's really, really worth checking out. It's uh, it's very, very cool. Um, so fusion, jazz, rock stuff is is just just genius. Love that. Now, this is again eBay, and it's a bit knackered on the on the on the cover here. But this is um, yeah, the final frontier from Iron Maiden. So in uh, July, I made a video where I was listening to the writing on the wall, which is the at the time their new single, uh, which had been released. And at the beginning of the video, I sort of went through my collection of Iron Maiden vinyl, and I was shamed, shamed I was by by the watchers of oh you haven't got this in the collection, oh you haven't got that, oh you know like, no, what I haven't, I've had this on CD forever, and I just never got around to getting it on vinyl, so you know. Let's get it. So that's in there. I still have two or three more to to fill up to get in there. I've got the um, the Blaze Bailey era uh, records, Virtual Eleven, and whatever the other one was. Um, and then um, Brave New World, I think, is the other one I need to get. But uh, yeah, we're we're sort of almost there. So I like this record. I like this record a lot. It's got some different sounds on it. Not very keen on the artwork though. This is so far away from being Eddie that I don't think it's Eddie anymore. But you know, uh, I'm not the band, so I don't make these decisions. Now, this is Lateralus, or later lateral us, lateral us. I don't know how you pronounce it. I always call it, I always call it later, lateralus, but uh, I was corrected again as saying it's lateral us. Um, by Tool. So the version that I've got, which I made the video with uh, a week or two ago, is a noisy, noisy record. It's lots of scratches, lots of pops, lots of clicks, lots of surface noise, even though I've cleaned it uh, a lot. And during the course of those videos uh, going up and uh, lots of comments going on in the, in the comments section, uh, someone say, "Oh, look! There's uh, something's popped up on eBay. If you hurry, you can get it." And uh, by the time I got there, obviously it's gone. 
Uh, but I sort of then sort of dug around a little bit. And this was there. This was there. Now, I know that this isn't an official release. Um, but it doesn't matter because this sounds absolutely flipping brilliant. Uh, I have listened to this uh, since making the video. And it's as clean as a whistle and as really, really good wide soundstage. And it's just, it sounds great. It really does. I'm very, very surprised because I didn't, when I bought it, I thought, Ooh, is this going to be a proper, is it going to be a sort of a bit of a, um, a party type thing? So it's obviously not an official release. It's a, I don't know if it's a bootleg or what you call it, but it is, it is the album and it is great. It is clean. It sounds amazing. And I can now listen to lateral us without clicks and pops and scratches and, uh, and the, and the, and the damage that's going to be doing to the needle on my record, on the record player. So I'm very pleased to have got that. I'm sorry because somebody else was after this at the same time um, in the, again, in the comments section. And I think I got there first. So I'm really sorry. Um, it's good if that's any consolation. Um, so I'm sorry, but sorry, not sorry. Um, Watershed, Opeth. I've had this uh, on CD for a while and I'm slowly getting more Opeth on vinyl. Uh, this is a again a record, a record I don't know because I've not listened to this yet, but uh, the album I've listened to quite a lot. Uh, I've got all the, um, some of these actual classic tracks on there, Coil, Air Apparent, The Lotus Eater, um, Porcelain Heart, Hessian Peel, you know, sort of these sort of like big, epic, well-known tracks. So all on this record. I'm looking forward to diving into this one. It might be a channel uh, video. It might not. Who knows? If you like the sound of that, give it a thumbs up. Um, two more records to go. We have another Stephen Wilson. So this is uh, Grace for Drowning. So... I'm getting there slowly, the old Stephen Wilson records. Um, I've got uh, To The Bone. I've got Hand Cannot Erase, as you obviously know. Uh, the Raven uh, that refused to sing. And now, they have Grace for Drowning. So I don't know this at all. I've not even listened to this on uh, Spotify. I haven't got the CD. So this is going to be a real, real uh, first listen. Uh, so I think I probably am going to do this as a selection of videos little video series at some point over the next few weeks. Yeah, looking forward to that because uh, I'm a big, big fan of Stephen Wilson and stuff that he's done. Right, the final record of this haul is Deftones. So, recently, uh, since I sort of started up being able to do sort of more videos more frequently again, um, one of the first ones I did was listening to White Pony on vinyl and it really opened my eyes and my ears to this band Deftones. And um, this, I think, is their most recent record. So this came out last year or the year before. What's the date on here? Oh, I can't see it. Um, I think it was two, yeah, 2020. So it's last year. So it's, it's quite fresh. I haven't heard it yet. Um, but uh, I'd be very, very interested to see what that sounds like in comparison to the, uh, the White Pony record that I listened to uh, sort of a month and a half, two months ago, whenever that was, because I really like the sound and um, I was, I'd be very interested to see in what direction they've gone and whether they've managed to sort of keep their momentum going. So this record brings to a close the selection of uh, records I've managed to get hold of in August. We've got, I think we've got 11 there. So not a huge haul, but uh, fairly, fairly okay. Um, as I said on the last video, it's probably not going to be this, uh, a, a huge amount every month. Uh, you know, funds can't afford it. And the family does have to eat, apparently, at some point. So I can't always be buying records and getting hold of records. Uh, I seem to find get hold of some sort of really friendly uh, record labels and get them to send me stuff that I can do on the channel. Um, yeah, ain't gonna happen. So it will be the same, same old, same old. Uh, buying occasional new ones and probably quite a lot of old ones off 
uh, off uh, off eBay and Discogs. Um, and as the world starts to open up again, get out to record fairs and out to the shops and uh, get hold of more vinyl. So there we go. That's uh, that's what I've managed to get hold of in August. Um, did I get any CDs? I don't know if I did this month, actually. So there's probably nothing to talk about on the CD front. I'm just having a quick scan over there. I think I did get one, actually. And that was a mistake. So I thought I was getting a, I thought I was getting an album, but it ended up not being. I thought actually, it's no wonder it's so cheap. It was a black album from Metallica. Uh, so I've got that on CD, and I didn't have that on CD before. So actually, that's I don't mind that slight mistake. Uh, but I would have preferred to have had that on vinyl. Um, I think that is it actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's uh, that's August wrapped up. If there's anything in there that's of any particular interest and you think would be uh, make some interesting uh, listening on the channel, uh, shout it out in the comments and uh, and we'll try to do that in the in the next few weeks. Um, so I'm going to leave it there for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video whenever and whatever it is. And until then, this is Jim. Over and.